quick short story. Rav Yitzhak Kaduri, the Zakein Makubalim from our previous generation, who is in the image above. Rav Kaduri once came to L.A. in 1990, and I was a newly religious guy trying to find my way in the world of Torah and, the, well, the bigger world as well. And Rav Kaduri came to L.A. He was raising funds for his yeshiva, and he was staying at the house of a rabbi, and he wanted to go out one night to the place that we went to do Hidbodadut, to talk to a god alone in nature. Well, that was L.A., so, you know, where do we go? The beach. We went out to North uh, Santa Monica Beach towards the Palisades, I believe, and we took the Rav out there, maybe 15 of us. This great Makubal from Jerusalem came to L.A., you know, and lifted our lives just by his presence. And he said, no, no, when we got to the parking lot, I said, no, no, we can't, we can't go here. <laughs> we, the beach is empty. It's the middle of the night. No, but the Rav said, in the daytime, it's not empty. And of course, we know in the summertime in L.A., what's at the beach, it's a certain quantity of immodesty, right? And so the Rav was telling us, you see, where people are immodest, during the day, there's still an impression at night, and vice versa. Where people are immodest at night, then there's going to be impression during the day. So you see, we're, we're not sensitive enough to feel or to see necessarily the impressions that are made on the physical space that we inhabit, the places we go and the things we say, and the things we do, leave an impression everywhere. So you could think of it like the whole universe, it's certainly Santa Monica Beach, right, is like a piece of film absorbing what you send to it. And our soul has that power. To remember is to absorb, and to project is to send the image out into the world, and that's what we as Jews are here to do. Not just to absorb from the world, but to send out a message to the world that there is one God in control of everything, every war, every life, every tragedy, and every celebration. And we are here to celebrate that idea. And when we get that idea, we start to live it. And suddenly, you'll go to a place and you'll say, you know, I don't feel good here. This doesn't feel right to me here. I don't feel uh, at peace in a certain space because you don't know what's going on there another time of day. And so the Rav taught us that just by in one word. And you see how the blessing extends outward 33 years later. <laughs> and so I share that with you. And you should all be blessed to have that sensitivity to your space and to your time and to your thoughts and to your heart, and to everyone else around you. And that is a repaired, restored, messianic realm that we're all hoping for for thousands of years. God bless you all. We'll see you again.